Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another video in my channel. Today I am here to talk about uh, some unpopular opinion. I might even get some brickbats for uh, the things I am going to say. But uh, it's about some of my experiences from childhood and uh, which have become accelerated or accentuated uh, after I moved uh, to Europe. And uh, it's about about the civic sense that we need to improve among us. And uh, I have been thinking about writing uh, about this for quite some time now. But seeing one news article that came out yesterday, I thought I should at least talk about it. I was initially not even intending to make a video out of it because this is something more closer to my heart. It's kind of pain, it's kind of pains me. So I and I express better. I believe I express better in writing. So I wanted to write about it. But then I realized I might be able to reach more people uh, through a video. Hence this video. So uh, let's let, let me get to the point. Uh, you might have seen the big parade that the Indian cricket team had in Mumbai. Um, and the, there is a news that came out that the next day that uh, there was around 11,000 plus kilograms of waste uh, that were on the road the next day. Nobody, nobody bothered to pick it up. Those who created the waste, they left it for the karmacharis or the uh, civic body workers. Uh, to clean it up the next day, I guess. This has been the problem with our country since I can remember. As a child, as a young adult growing up, I have always faced this kind of like a weakness. I have been, I, it was it was even considered as a weakness on my part. I was always someone who wanted to stand in a line when I'm getting on a bus, when I'm trying to go to any public service uh, utility place, I would stand on the line, try to wait my turn. But I was most often laughed at. I was considered as a weakling who was not able to uh, use his wits and uh, intelligence to bypass the line and get things faster. That is the kind of mentality that was promoted since my childhood and I have always been traumatized with that. I was always considering myself as somebody incapable of doing this when I was just trying to follow the rules. Over time I tried to resist it and I realized that there is no point in doing it and I let it go and I just decided to be the lame person uh, and just still f foolishly follow the rules and uh, just stand in line wait for the traffic signals, wait for the pedestrian crossing to cross, don't, don't, don't just cross the road randomly, all these things. But people, everyone just, just randomly does not even follow the rules or breaks the rules. I thought maybe over the years things will improve, nothing seems to be improving, maybe some things are improving. But whenever I hear this news, it just pains me. That is one part of it. But what I feel is that uh, this idea of having a civic sense that this country, the, 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 out, the outer, outer built environment is also our home, is something that's not getting inculcated into the mentality or the psyche of the people, I don't know why. People are very, very eager to keep their houses clean, but just outside the house, it's not clean, they're not bothered. I know some people are doing it, but uh, I expected that things will change over the years in my 33 years of 34 years of life. but. Uh, things don't seem to have improved and in many places things have gone bad and uh, when I saw the news it was just again very painful for me and uh, overall it's just this chest thumping that's going on people are so proud to break the rules people are so proud to show as a badge of honor that there is a line of 500 people and they somehow did something bypassed the queue and got the thing that's not how it should be I mean there should be rule of law and the rule of law is becoming lower and lower I don't know why that's what I feel maybe things are different that's why i said it might be an unpopular opinion related to this what i wanted to talk about also is that uh it's the civic sense this civic sense that we have at our homes by home i mean our home country in india is kind of carried forward in a bad way by many when they travel across the world and uh, i personally have had two experiences one very recent last week which again caused a lot of pain to me and I don't know how to solve this, but it just pains me. 
i am trying my best to be a good samaritan good citizen of india when i am outside but it is just not me right everybody should have the thought process and maybe this is just my one effort to see at least i can bring about some change so the idea is going back um, at one point in my life i wrote the civil services with the main intention of getting into the foreign services i wanted to be uh, an ambassador of the country uh, represent my country to the world and uh, be a good vocal spokesperson of my country and the culture uh, but i couldn't clear the exam extreme competition in india that's fine fair fair um, and then i moved on with other things in my life got into scientific research etc but still that urge of me to be an ambassador of my culture and my country still stays so when i am outside when i am traveling i always try to be my best version so that because i am a representative of my country wherever i go it's not like i am staying here i am just forgotten my country that's not how most people are some people are very very quick to judge that oh there he is outside the country now he is uh, he doesn't love the country it's fine he is in some other country no that's not how it is for most people they are representatives of their country they are proud representatives of their country they are ambassadors of their country they are the cultural ambassadors of the country not the formal official foreign service ambassadors ambassadors but the cultural ambassadors so in that respect we all have we as experts living in different countries outside the country have this responsibility to project the best image of our country and of our countrymen but sadly that's not what i see from many people one example which many of you would have seen is one video of people boarding the bus in uk uh, it became quite uh, famous for all the wrong reasons there was a big commotion of people trying to jump into the bus and there are a lot of other country people there just standing and seeing what are all these people from india doing they are just not following the rules they are not standing in line it became a very bad thing actually most people would have seen this and uh, i personally had two such experiences i wanted to bring that to you i just cost i did not know what to do because why as one person i can just keep telling that i am and this is something that goes back to my childhood and my growing up years whenever i try to say some things to say let's say correct people nobody takes it in the right way they say oh what what are you telling just go sit in one corner nobody bothers about your opinion so that's fine but i'm just going to tell my opinion anyway so uh, i will just tell two instances of it and i think that's it i will end my video i don't know any solution for this i just thought if i tell this if some people can if it touches the hearts of some people maybe maybe they can inculcate this in their lives so a couple of months ago we were in amsterdam uh, we were traveling and uh, we were going from uh, amsterdam central to this place called zanzeshans and zandam so it's the famous tulip fields so the road transport there they have a bus dedicated bus that runs from amsterdam central to zanzeshans and it's it's a one stop one stop bus for a ride of around 45 minutes and the bus comes like every 30 minutes or so so you get on and it just goes for 40 minutes and drops you there there are no stop stops in between and we were just waiting for a bus to come and uh, all people who were there around were automatically kind of forming a line uh, to get into the bus even before the bus having come there but then a group of 20 or people from india they they come in they start grouping together they do see they have eyes right they have eyes and they have their senses they can see that like 30 40 people are standing in a line we were in that line so the bus arrives and the doors open and the group the group that was there they were a bit far from the bus they just start rushing to that door ignoring all these 30 40 people who were standing in line and they just try to barge into the door usually at least here how it is is you go in one by one you either scan your card or show your ticket and then you go in and this is this became a big commotion all 20 of them even though they were also a one group i guess they were just try to barge in and the people who are controlling it they just lifted their hands and they were like okay it's too difficult and then things sorted itself out and uh, they all went in and then everybody else got in the point was that i guess they wanted to have a seat because it's a 40 minute ride but then so does everybody who is standing in the line right but they did not have any thought about such people i felt really bad i did not know what to do i stopped telling this to people that okay you should have stood in line because people don't take it in the right sense so i stopped telling that 
so and correction i think i meant uh, the sansa chance is a place with tulips no it's the place with the windmills but the point is this so that point the throughout the 40 minute journey uh, we did not get a seat we were standing and we were not totally okay with that i was just thinking why why did they behave like this i could hear some people who were, i could see some people who were in the line who were just like having their faces going to different uh, emotions that why are these people behaving like this maybe they were traveling from india and they were not really uh, staying outside india and they just thought this is how it is but then i i couldn't i tried to reason myself out to see to see if to justify their action but sadly i could not it felt me dis- kept me disturbed for a couple of days that was one instance and the other one is quite recent last week we were in budapest and uh, we had booked this uh, river cruise uh, through the danube at night so the the cruise was supposed to be at 10 pm and we were asked to be there by around 9:45 pm uh, to board the uh, cruise or the river river cruise the boat you can say so by from 9 10 itself people started uh, getting in line and we they reached there around 9:20 we still, we also got in line by the time we got in line there were already around i think 40 people in front of us and in no time within 5 10 minutes there were at least 100 people be behind us and then suddenly uh, out of nowhere around like 10 minutes before 10 o'clock like 9:50 uh, a father and a son most likely from india because they were speaking in hindi uh, they started scanning this line in front of they started slowly moving through this line next to it and they started scanning this line i could sense that they were not ready to stand in line join the line at the end they were trying to find a loophole to bypass this line they kind of looked at us and i realized that we are also from india and it was almost like they were targeting us they slowly started coming closer to us and uh, as time went by 2 3 minutes they slowly started coming closer to us closer to us and it made it made it look like we were one group and by the time the lane line started moving they just suddenly got in behind us just ignoring the 100 people who were standing behind them i really wanted to turn my head and tell him that what this what are you doing this is not good behavior but then i have i'm tired of telling this to people i just thought okay let let it go i don't want to have an argument i have come here for a short break and this is dis- destroying my mood they they and they were standing next to me and st- even then they were like finding faults in everything they were like things are much better there why why are things like this here why are things like that there i agree some things are really good back in india some things are really good here but if you are traveling uh, the idea is that you try to take the positives of the place that you are going and try to implement those back in your country and there's that's not a point point pos- it's not uh, worthwhile to compare uh, contrast and compare each and everything just soak in the place that you are in try to see its positives look at the negative things that are there and have some empathy when you are in a place have some empathy to that place that is lacking that's for another uh, day that's not the topic i am talking here they nicely got into the line i felt really bad and they were laughing that okay they did it it's like some achievement they got some crown or chicken dinner and uh, we just got in and uh, i was quite upset and it kind of spoiled my mood i know this is not something i did but whenever i see these things happening over the years i have become getting really irritated and upset with why people are behaving like this so these are the two uh, experiences i had in the very recent past uh, one in amsterdam one uh, in budapest uh, i know some of you will be quick to kind of uh pass a judgment that i am being too judgmental or a comment that uh, this is just a rare occasion but thing is uh, being a fellow countryman from from where those people come from it upsets you right it's like you are trying your best this is the thing that kind of upsets me a lot you are trying your best to be a, a good citizen of your country good ambassador of your country somewhere else and then along comes another person and then just spoils the reputation of everyone that you try to represent i know this is the case with any country but then i see this more often with people from our country and this is the thing with 
things happening outside the country and even inside the country over time things are supposed to improve but i see that people are not getting this sense of responsibility to their surroundings this basically that's what called civic sense that's not building up it's it's a sad thing uh it's always very easy to say that okay it's the government's job the government should take care of all this but we also have some responsibility some duties as a citizen and yeah we are we are paying taxes and many of the things that we need to get as a return of our taxes uh, do not come that is a debate that's happening uh, we need to have better roads some better infrastructure better healthcare facilities access to good health care all those things are existing but there are also certain things that we as citizens can do right Sim- as simple as following a line following a queue waiting for the signal to cross and appreciating and respecting the person who is trying to follow the rules that's the main thing but what the, the culture that is there in our country since the time i i could have some consciousness since the time of my birth is that anybody who tries to follow the rules tries to stand in a line is considered as weak and the person who somehow magically tries to find an easy way out is considered is hailed as a hero or some a very smart person this attitude is at the core of all these problems that needs to change another thing is i try to understand i was i'm always trying to maybe my research experience has given me this temperament to always look at things from all sides so i have been trying to not being very judgmental about what my these observations i have been also been trying to let's say reason out my myself why we are behaving the way we are behaving one reason could be our colonial past maybe a lack of resources and then all those uh, tortuous experiences the uh the uh, british occupation of india might have caused there might have been a lot of scarcity of resources so, so then people couldn't uh, afford to stand in a line because by then things will get over so they had to find some ways to get things uh, for them because things are in short supply maybe this thing got into our psyche that we have this uh, fear of missing out that happens that if we stand in a line maybe we won't get what we are supposed to get so we can't afford to do all this but it's something like a trauma we need to get out of it if we, we are now an independent country proud uh, citizens and if we are to move forward we need to let go of all these inhibitions and be very happy and proud in following the rule of law and appreciate and respect the people who are trying to do it and then only can we bring out positive change otherwise things will never improve i can keep on talking about it but this is what i wanted to talk today i know it's it so for some people it might be an unpopular opinion but there i said it i am open to comments and it was i got a bit emotional because this this is in my mind for a very long time i could say even from my since my childhood at least at least one person if they hear it and if they relate to me i am happy i am open to criticism that's the whole point here i am open to comments and suggestions see you in the next video thank you and bye bye